and relax. The past 30 weeks have been challenging for the cadets, but it's all over now. Overwhelmed. I'm really excited for everyone who's got through the last 30 weeks. I'm ecstatic. I'm excited to be passing out today. I'm just over the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Royalty was in attendance at the parade itself, Her Royal Highness the Countess of Wessex on her first ever visit to the college. Friends and family bundled under blankets to watch. The sub-zero temperatures weren't stopping anyone. I think people have been finding novel ways of uh, how, many, how many layers they can fit under their number one uniform. Some of our international uh, students in particular, coming from places like Trinidad and Tobago, Ghana and the Gambia, as you imagine, this, these temperatures are not uh, very enjoyable for them at all. It's been a busy year for the service. They've deployed to both polar regions, crossed almost every line of longitude, operated on the seas of all the oceans and sent training teams to 20 countries. So what lies ahead in the careers of these brand new sailors? Really contested times around the world and whilst support to Ukraine remains absolutely at the forefront of all our minds and maintaining Euro-Atlantic security through our commitment to NATO, uh, this is not the only area in the world where there is tension and part of our work will be alongside allies and partners globally deployed to ensure that the rules-based international system that we value so highly uh, is, is reinforced, underlined and continues to deliver. It's part of the armed forces that we protect our nation and, and help it prosper. And, and that requires us actually to create a world where people can live and trade in, in peaceful economic security. A couple of Merlins completed proceedings, marking the occasion of the newest cohort entering the Royal Navy. Hannah King, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.